Hello everybody, welcome back. Now let's just take the last question. We are heading towards the end. Now the last question on this page is for again for city of San Francisco and it asks us to classify the business. Let's quickly look the question. Look at the question. Okay. So over here it says let's read out the question here it says classify each business as either a restaurant cafe school or other so in the data we can expect uh, some columns okay i mean a lot of rows and along with the business name because here is what it is saying right along with the business name and in business name we need to look for certain keywords and then basis on that we need to classify it so for example here it says a restaurant we need to classify all those business as restaurant which have the restaurant keyword in business name column same goes for the here if the business name column have either of these three keywords either cafe cafe or coffee okay then we should classify that as cafe if the business name has keyword school then we should classify that as school rest everything should be classified as other all right so i think you have understood it let's have a quick view on the sample data let me see if i have already executed it if not then here is what the sample data looks like let me take it to the separate window and let's just see so the base part is uh, if you are someone who already knows pandas then here the may base thing which we are learning is how to approach a problem statement okay so you see over here here we got the business name right here we have the business name in the business name we need to look for the keyword like school if it contains school we need to classify we need to create another column let's say business type and into that we need to put the value as school so let's see the sample uh, sample of expected output here we are okay now here we go you see in the final output it is expected to have only business name which we just saw and the business type which we would require to create now if you notice over here business type all is written in small later right so we should keep this thing in mind now let's just quickly start with this thing right so this is the whole data frame restaurant san san francisco restaurant health violations etc etc okay so i'm just going to this is too big data frame name it, it's such a big data frame name so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it in df and because for our work we require only one column and that is business name so i'm just going to keep that column only business name all right so we are done with that here is what we had now the next column which we need to create is business type business type this is what we need to create how to create that so for example tf and then we need to use the business name column into that okay so this is what we are going to use business name and on that we need to apply the function so apply some criteria logic etc right so you all know that apply function is something which panda provide us which we can use to apply any kind of function and then the another powerful thing which is lambda right lambda is something which we use to create any function or use any function on fly okay so here here we go lambda x and then now the game starts what is the word that we need to produce first what is the business type that we need to produce first so that business type it says produce restaurant it is asking to produce restaurant if if x contains the word the uh, restaurant right if we can say if restaurant in x this is it so this is how we are going to write the syntax you see let's try to understand it once again so here we are taking the column on which we need to apply the condition or the column which we need to use or the column in which we need to look for certain keywords for example it's let's say we only need to classify restaurant so business name is the column which we need to look in okay then apply is the function which we use to apply any function and lambda is something which we use to create any function on fly here if you are wondering what x is so we are saying this column as x okay so we are just referring to this particular column lambda x 
we are saying produce restaurant in business type if restaurant is available in column x is that okay yes i can hear that you are pretty much confident now the next let's look at the next criteria oh it's going to be a little difficult here it says three things we need to check three things if it matches then we need to classify that as cafe let's try that so over here let's take one at a time okay let me just see if the alignment and everything is all right okay and over here Oops. i don't know why it is happening like this else let's just say else we're gonna say else cafe all right there is one more thing which we need to do we should say lower otherwise uh, it could be case sensitive as well right so whatever this column is this column we are converting that into the small case small letter okay now after that else what if it is not restaurant then the next thing we need to say is cafe cafe in what scenario if cafe in x dot low sorry my bad in x dot lower hope that's fine and easy to understand so this was for cafe but there are three things which we need to consider i highly recommend you copy this part from here because there is something which is written in french style now either it should have cafe or it should have or this in x dot lower or the last thing is coffee right let me copy this where is that coffee here it is okay now let me just put it over here coffee in x dot lower i'll quickly help you understand okay so here till restaurant it is clear right i just hope that it is clear till that point now after that what is happening after uh after restaurant it says else if it's not restaurant then check if it has cafe in if uh sorry it is saying produce cafe in business type if cafe is available in x or if cafe in french style available in column x or if coffee is available in column x right hope it is it was clear then the next thing comes else school if school in x dot lower all right so see the, this is the condition we are we are trying to check whether school is available in column x or not if yes then put a school right now what if neither of these conditions are true let's have a look if there is any other condition i don't think so is there any other condition no school was the second last then if neither of those true those conditions are true then put other that's what it is saying now let's just try that it is very simple right then let's next thing which we are going to say is else other that is it done let's see if the syntax is right yeah it seemed to be why it says p it there is no p okay so business name is written over here and business type let's let's have a look at uh whole data frame Woo, we got it okay you see the things are solved right this is how we need to solve this now let's just check if the answer is correct or not pause the video if you have any doubt pause the video or uh, watch it again if you get any doubt till till this point now i'm going to check whether the solution is correct or not oh it it failed right uh, let's see if it suggests what is incorrect solution is incorrect for a solution to be accepted or uh, your output should match the expected solution value in each column column names and positions are ignored but output is case sensitive okay output is case sensitive let's say column name is ignored let's see where where we are mistaking okay so i'm doing a deep dive into it so that you could also get to know how to approach a problem statement right and how to debug something right okay so here is what we got here it says this particular thing is classified as restaurant 
So it should be restaurant, isn't it? Because it has the word uh, restaurant. And this particular thing is classified as other. That's why it is having an error. No, but it should be other, right? Because it doesn't have either of the this word. It doesn't have restaurant. It doesn't have cafe, cafe, coffee. And it doesn't have school as well. So it should be true. Now, what is the problem? Let's Let's have a look in the approach hint. So in approach hint, these are true it is just suggesting you now here see this is the point which we need to notice many entries a business can have many locations okay so which means there is there could be one business name which are available in multiple locations and because of which we are getting multiple entries and there is a high possibility that they uh, in the output solution which this official website has created that has only one entry for this particular restaurant and that is classified as restaurant but for us we have multiple entries for this thing so that's why it is giving the error let's try to validate it so for to validate that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a pivot and see if my data has uh, multiple enters for same business okay index equals to business name business name sorry and then add from which i'm going to create is uses count and let me just do the reset index also reset index okay let me sort values also sort values by business type ascending equals to false equals to false hmm now you can see it over here roxen cafe has 10 entries and what else see this particular restaurant where we were getting the error right this has two entries that's why the error was now let's just see how can we quickly fix this so it is very simple nothing to worry about right so i'm just going to delete this and let's just say on business name we just need to drop the duplicates so you simply say df dot drop duplicates i don't know drop duplicates and into that we need to use subset argument or parameter so subset is something we use to say uh, it should remove duplicates basis on a certain column if you don't want to use then you can also it is also fine because in the data frame you have only two columns but to be on safer side let's say if you are not doing this type of thing in the beginning then you should use this subset over here right so that it will use only this column to look for the duplicates okay now let's just see the solution here we got the solution created yeah we got the solution created now let's just check if this is correct or not yeah see it says solved so bingo we solve this problem statement i just hope that it was clear for you to understand see because of this it was giving us the error and i highly recommend you go through this you try this one by one if it is if you are very beginner to pipe pandas try this one by one by one right i would suggest you use one condition only uh, i mean write the condition still here only right and then test that if you're comfortable then try another condition if you're comfortable then try the another condition that's how you learn right so i just hope that it was very simple for you to understand just case just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out with my reply and if you really liked this video then give a thumbs up and subscribe it for our motivation thanks once again wish you good luck